squads. Denver took a 7-3 loss on the road at Western Michigan on December 8th and then bounced back with a 6-5 win in overtime in that one. But for the Pioneers, the series, I think, was probably dominated by the headline that they give up. Came off the stick of Zach Lambos, and I believe it might have been Carter King who was in front of that. There was a Pioneer there, now a 2-1-1 on chance the other way. Stop! Score! Jared Wright, one nothing lead for Denver! Do so to create an odd man chance, and Wright takes a look over at Sam Harris, but he elects to shoot as the back checker was coming into play and shoot, he did. What a laser from Jared Wright as he looked like Harris's stick got caught underneath Rowe and he couldn't get it loose to try and get that rebound. Denver with one more chance, they score! It was right after the power play had expired. Alex Wiermeyer, and if that is the case, it is his first collegiate goal. The pass comes in from the side, from Lemaire, and Weiermeyer's right in front, able to get a stick on it, and able to def Neutral zone, Lundberger lost his footing, and a chance for Western Michigan, and the first goal tonight for the Broncos on a shot that trickled off of Matt Davis. It's a two to one game. Western Michigan taking advantage of the opportunity. You see Buckberger, he loses his footing at the Pioneer blue line. It's almost like something, it might be his, sometimes players wear a guard when they go to, to help protect them should they block. 30 to go. Pioneer fans, a little bit nervy with that two goal deficit down to one is a big chance off of the one timer and it trickles in, no! Waved off immediately. Cameron Rowe reached behind himself and the fake a look at it. We will get a look at it as well. Of course, the interesting thing was the crowd reaction as Cameron Rowe could tell that that had gotten through him and reached back to try to stop it. And uh, the official waves it off right away. And I think what the official's saying is, hey, I blew the whistle. Rowe had the puck before Sam Harris is able to knock into him and see that loose puck. Changing and stalling new stuff. He said, you know, we really don't change a lot ever. We really just try to stick to our principles. As Cy William, speaking of principles, the junior comes through with that wrestler from the blue line, and William has given Denver some breathing room. Well, what a huge turn of events. Denver killing penalties at the end of the second. Carries over, they get it killed. One goal lead, anybody's game, still certainly anybody's game. But for Shai Booyam to get that goal, put Denver up to a huge, huge momentum shifter. Here's Granger, the captain from the near side half wall. Up top to Sholan, Sholan through a crowd, that's loose in front and tipped into the net. If it stands, that'll be the second goal tonight for Western Michigan. There were all kinds of skates and Matt. Went gets his stick on it, it just rolls. That's Kemp in front of him. This rolls right through, right through Kemp and into the net. The only question would be interference, certainly what they're looking at. After further review, it was determined that there was goaltender interference. No goal. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They will reverse it. So, actually, and now Denver with a chance. The goal takes it away. Off the post again. The fourth post that Denver has hit tonight, and it stays a two goal game. Stranger and Went are two great examples of what this program is built on. Those guys have been great tonight. And right on cue, it is Dylan Went who comes through on the feed. And with the extra man, Western Michigan has narrowed it. He had a goal a moment ago. They stick with it. And he gets this goal. Went's going to get the goal, but this is all Alex Kemp. As he wraps around the top, and then he's able to just slide the backhand over.